Welcome back to the Docova channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what's behind me. Okay, so what's behind me here is I, I, get, I get a few comments where this came from was uh, I've got a couple of comments about uh, what's behind me. So I'm going to go over it quickly. First of all, uh, on the wall here, these are some awards that we've won over the years. We've won about 11 awards. We have some trophies and things over there. Uh, maybe we'll do a video that goes over the awards that we've won, but um, just to say that's what those are. Really what the comments are mostly about are, is about this right here. Uh, so this <laughs> is an all original 1981 IBM 5150 personal computer <laughs> uh, and a data train monitor. Now, you'll say, hey John, you just said that was all original. And it is uh, the original IBM PC, if I, get this, if I can point right here. Um, the original IBM PC was just the chassis and the keyboard uh, and two four, five and a quarter inch floppy uh, drives. This one actually has a hard drive in it. So flop, floppy and eh, hard drive right there, which added an extra thousand bucks to it. So just the chassis and keyboard was about $1,500 back then, about 5,000 Canadian, 4,500 US today. Uh, pretty expensive actually. Plus another thousand bucks for a monitor that you had to get, whether you got an IBM one or one like this, which is a data train. Um, this one with the hard drive would have added more money to it, for example. So personal computer, yes. Uh, in that, for the most part, businesses could afford them and it was your personal computer. Typically, accounting uh, had them and IT. But uh, right from the begin, uh, you know, at the very beginning, not everybody got them because they were pretty expensive. People make two comments. One is, cool, how nostalgic. This is our 67 Firebird. Um, and other comments are, John, you're doing videos about Dakova, a cutting edge, low-code application development environment for 2021, why do you have this old paperweight in the background? First of all, still works. 40 years later, that turns on and you can run some software on it. We have some games, and so maybe we'll do a video about, about that. But I'm gonna tell you why this computer is important uh, and how it's related to Docova. So when this computer came out in 1981, um, there was Ataris and Omega, Omegas, and um, I think the Apple II was out. IBM just put out the 5 MIPS chip of the 3080 platform, I believe. 3081 platform, I don't know. I don't know mainframe. But, you know, so what about this, this personal computer that came out? This represents an open architecture, right? Um, by IBM, in that the chip was an 8088 chip um, by Intel. Uh, it came with 16K of RAM, expandable 640. Um, the monitor there, even our monitor, is a data train monitor. It was a vendor monitor. So this open architecture did two things. One, it opened up the uh, computer world uh, or industry to tons of vendors who would create RAM and uh, like AMD uh, CPUs and video cards and monitors and so on. And so it blew open that whole industry. And for users, when it did blow open that whole industry, prices came down. So no longer was it 5,000 to put it on your desk and your computer. Now people could buy them and bring them home for their home use. Um, and, and that blew up um, you know, significantly. And so what did it do? It empowered people, right? It empowered, you know, just your, your regular employee from a company. Now they could go buy and have a computer uh, at home. And for vendors, it, it opened up this whole hardware world. Low code is that way from a software perspective in that now we are empowering, you know, staff to be able to build their own applications, right? and vendors to build applications that they can resell to their customers. You know, so, um, you know, software is expensive to develop and typically you need people who had a computer science degree in order to create them. In hardware worlds, you used to have to submit what you wanted the IT guys to run on the mainframe before you got it back. But with this computer now, you could sit down and do it yourself, right? And that was with software too. 
you had to go, your department, your staff has to go to IT and say, hey, will you develop this application for us? And IT will say, yeah, okay, thanks. But it became that black hole. It was very inefficient. And so now we've empowered the staff on the software side to be able to create themselves, to be able to build their own applications. And this helps IT too. So IT can focus on more complex issues that they have to contend with the, for the whole organization. And uh, that's what the low-code application development platform stands for. So this hardware was an open architecture empowered uh, users and that's what low code does today and so uh that's why you know it's nostalgic uh, but it, but it also is very representative in the hardware world uh, of what docova is representative now you know 40 years later in the software world imagine what software is going to be like um in another 40 years wow okay so that's what's behind me thanks for watching this video uh, if you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, comment, ask questions, uh, hit the notification bell so that you're notified uh, when we post more videos. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you next time.